the left side. As the red team, they have one more chance not to go down with three losses tonight. Let's hope they take it. They are Team Alternate. And we have Mopsio on ETC, Gluehammer playing Vala, and um, Remak playing someone caught in the middle there. Oh yeah, the ape, the monkey, the flying monkey. Um, Brightwing, <laughs> Guccio is playing Tassadar, and in the top lane we have Vasiliano playing Thrall. Their opponents on the right side as the red team. Team Acer once again tonight. They have Zypho on the Zebo. In the mid lane, we have Greenout on Uther and Zahn on Arphis, joined by Holo on Zeratul. And last but not least, it is Lotus on Felstad. Okay, let's have a look here in this mid lane. Uh, they look like they wanted to go for a triple stack and maybe surprise someone. But uh, so is Team Alternate over here. And let's see, Lotus, will, he'll just stay back and of course he can um, he can dash away, he can do the viral roll to get away. So I don't think they're gonna get on top of him if he plays it safe. That's that's definite, definite, uh, plays it safe. Okay, Zon and Holo waiting for Vaziano to make a move. That would be a nice early kill, getting Thrall up here. But he knows that something's up. He's just staying up there, and that's not gonna happen all too soon. Yeah, he's just staying back. Sitting back, relaxing. And uh, so is Felset down here. So I don't think either of these players will get caught out. Ooh, Thrall is making a move closer to Zypho. He wants to stop his pushing attempt. And the last tap, of course, for you, Mr. Heroes Tempest, aka Yorkshire Pigo. Yeah, I agree with you, Faladu. Um, I, I still think Shen is more viable than ETC right now. Maybe they just have a little bit more training with ETC. Maybe Mopsio can do it. Lotus is just playing so incredibly safe. We don't see anything going down right now. Check out those level 4 talents and Venom on Arthas. Gathering power on Zeratul, protective shield on Mr. Uther, gathering power on Felstad, and over here, Mazibo hasn't quite chosen just yet. Oh, we're going for the kill. Thrall is going down. That's why he hasn't chosen anything just yet. And over here, healing ward for Tassadar, a multi shot build for Vala, and Echo Paddle for ETC. So block Echo Paddle. And ooh, Tassadar might be in trouble over here. But face shift comes out, the root misses. Good move here by Guccio. And the first tribute spawning down here. Should be a good position for alternate, but I think the triple stack is already getting on top of it. And well, that's a really, really uh, good push coming down the bot lane. The root misses, Mopsio rushing, rushing through is on. And there's a storm, looks like he can turn this around. And who's gonna go for that tribute first? Vaziano starting channeling. Maybe they can come in from the back. Bolo coming in from the bottom. And there's the storm on the right side. Mopsio just trying to clear them out. Zon trying to get a move on. Bolo completely out of that fight, so I think Acer is just gonna let this one slip. But we'll have to see. So far they're just doing a good job disrupting every once in a while. Also, they're also clearing this off. Hmm. It's interesting. Usually if you're just buying time, you want to go for the siege camps at the same time. Oh, I really need to do this. This is only useful for HBL. <laughs> Forgot. Oh, yep. Vaziano just picking that up. In the meantime, Acer just soaked up a little bit more XP in the lanes. Uh, didn't really do all that much pushing. Maybe in the mid lane, just a little bit, but uh, not all that much. And yeah, still have a little bit of a level advantage. Got seven talents coming in. Room tap for Arthas. Okay, interesting choice. Um, down here we have Gitbin <laughs> for Nazebo, Ren and Cleave or Zeratul Cleanse on Uther, and Boomerang on Felstad.
Now we finally have the teams uh, going for their camps. Uh, is alternate really going going to go up for their boss? Doesn't look that likely right now. The units come up, and Polo needs to watch out. That uh, that gate is already gone, so he needs to play this a little bit carefully. Bruiser's taking at the perfect time here on the Aces side. And Mopsio starting shambling. Wall going down some attacks up there. And Nazibo moving in with the zombie wall, but not doing all that much. And there comes the fight. Zahn moving in, trying to put the hammer on. And Arthas is the first one to fall. Greenout caught out a little bit there as well. Looks like Greenout might fall here. Asiano is giving shape, but there comes the stun. Asiano quite low, and Zypho still hitting him quite a bit. There he goes down. Gluehammer is quite low as well. So is Marzio. And Holo comes in from the back, tries to take out Gluehammer, but is taken out instead. And there's Brightwing going down. Two for two so far. And Marzio, I think he might fall, but the good shield out of Gucci keeps him alive for now. And, whoa, final blow. So incredibly close. 16 health on ETC. That was incredibly lucky for Alternate, but they did lose that Tribute. So Acer getting the Tribute, ooh, level 10 already. Doing a little bit of damage on. And Alternate still sticking to the lanes. Mid lane being pushed quite a bit in. They're half a level, or almost a level behind now. So they can't really fight, and if that next Tribute spawns uh, quite soon, an alternate, uh, then Acer is definitely going to get it as well. Uh, Holo scouting everything out, sees the Bruiser camp will be taken, but I think they will get level 10 soon enough. Yes, they have. So they can take that fight now, and that makes it a little bit dangerous for Acer to go for those really ballsy moves. Did I miss up again? Why? Why? Yes, alternate is over here. And they're going for the steal, they're going for the steal, both teams are. Both teams are um, still. Uh, Acer is a little bit ahead. A, they're a little bit ahead right now. I don't think they're ahead enough to um, stop that steal or even go for um, go for a team fight after this. But still, Let's see, Holo is scouting him out. Yeah, boss has been taken. They're not gonna do all that. Um, boss will push down here. They could have gone for the bruisers, but they should have decided earlier on. Now they're just gonna go for the gates. Maybe take out that key, uh, that fort, but I don't think it will happen here. Yep. Um, alternate already trying to react. They're going for the siege camps at the same time, so those put on some decent pressure alongside that boss in the top lane. But the fort is down, so that's a good little bit of an XP advantage. They will need to react, otherwise this fort will fall though in the top lane. See, just kind of doing the dance and not not really engaging each other. Now finally Blue Hammer moves in. But I think they will still get this wall and the two towers. Might get the key, but I I really doubt it. Now that the bruise is out for Team Alternate, um, they will have to react to these all these mercenaries. Uh, I mean, it's a minion wave alongside that boss. Bruises in mid lane, they definitely have to react. Uh, looks like they can clear out the bruises here. And that gonna give him a nice position for the next tribute. And ooh, Zahn is caught out there. He needs to watch out. Mopsy is gonna push him in. And wow, what a nice body block. There comes the Sundering. But Zahn, nope, he's taken out. Good Void Prison time to save him. And Mopsy getting a little bit of damage, but Lotus was a bit too early on his Felt set, on his, hinder, um, on his Hinterland Blast. And now they're one player down. This is most certainly going to be the next tribute going to way of Team Alternate. And yep, that's the final tribute. That's the curse. Can Alternate finally make it happen? Can they finally take a game tonight? Looks like a nice early game for them so far. Alright, let's check out the town. Spell Shield on Arthas, Sprint on Azebo, Sprint on Uther, of course, Warm Hall over here on Zeratul, and Giant Killer on Felstad. We won on Brightwing, as expected. Race of Air, pre signs, and uh, here we have uh, Multi Shot continuing to be built, Frost Shot, and Uber Rockstar. So we need to block Echo Paddle, um, Guitar Hero. Uh, Mosh Pit and Uber Rockstar. Okay.
Interesting. But so far, ETC has not been doing a bad job. That's, um... The Arthas takedown was not bad, and now they're gonna get Holo for free. Oh, this is nice. This is certainly working out for Alternate right now. Holo completely caught out. I don't know what the heck he was doing down there. But he must have had uh, some idea as to why he should stay down there. Alright. That's the Giants, but they were taken... They were taken by Acer. Otherwise, this uh, could have spelled doom for them down there. And the next fort. Can I get this fort as well? I highly doubt it, but it's already quite low. It's four players already on top of that fort. They will get it. And that's a level advantage for them. But not really all that uh, all that huge compared to the other games. This looks certainly like a lot of a closer game compared to the previous ones. And there's the B for most of the players. And uh, at least Tessa and Reinick are staying. We need to stop the bruisers. They don't want to lose this fort. They still have five forts standing, so so far they're pretty good, but losing this fort would give a lead to Acer again. Yeah. Uh, looks like they can they can stand this for now. Bosses should be coming up here pretty soon. One minute on this one, and yep, yeah, about one minute on that one. So I think both teams will gear up to take their boss pretty soon. And maybe, maybe, ooh, Alternate could actually use this, but their level, uh, their experience boost is just so tiny. I doubt they, c they can make it work. With their level 16 talents, they would have a certain advantage, but uh, I mean, Acer is just so hard on their tail. They're almost going to be, yep, they're going to be 16 before them, just clearing out that minion wave. Okay, could have worked. Could have worked. Definitely worth a shot, but sure. Take the safe route. It makes a lot of sense. Okay, boss is coming up now. And it looks like Acer wants to surprise him. Remac, did he see him? I think they're just waiting. Both teams will be waiting. And yeah, they see him. Here comes Storm. You can see moves in straight away. And Void Prisoning. Brutio and Rymac. Now Gluhammer caught out there on the left side. Lotus will stay alive, but nope, not for long. Now Vasil though completely caught out. So is Rymek, Acer. They're turning around this team fight. That's three for one for now. And Guccio, yeah, he's just gonna be chased off. Mopsio could get away. But nope, not with four heroes chasing. That's that's a tribute. That's a boss. Ooh, no, he gets away. Jeez, Mopsio. Nice retreat there. That's Tribute and Boss. I still think it's going to be the Boss as well. Tribute will be grabbed. That's two Tributes going the way of Team Acer. And the Boss, yeah, looking good so far. ETC and Tesla try to get in position. And they're scouted out. Maybe they can go for a kill, but still the cooldowns are up for Thrall and Brightwing. Mopsio still moving in and going for a little bit of a, um, <laughs> a little bit of a rock band play there. And Acer Green out, he's incredibly low, he goes down. And Zahn, can he take out Mopsio? No, he's caught out as well. Rymik might fall here. Another hit here by Zaifu and he could go down, but no, it's not gonna happen. Alternate, going for the steal. Oh, Gluehammer. That was lucky. Zaifu would've stayed for a sec there, could've taken me out. But Holo, Holo is taken out by the Sundering. Zaifu is in trouble here. And Chain Lightning might take him out. Gucci with a storm certainly can. And there's that final blow. Wow. Turning things around twice in a row. Acer and Alternate both do. I believe some tribute is so Alternate uh, going for the steal on that boss. And they could go for the next boss as well. This would mean they don't have anyone taking that tribute and watching out for the tribute. Oh, Glue Hammer is going back. Good idea. Good idea. Now that's two bosses that Acer needs to deal with. They still have two tributes up. So they need to watch out. Alternate needs to watch out. That final tribute fight is gonna be really crucial. If they keep if they keep alternate on the back foot, if they keep him defending against these bosses, against the bruises that are taken now, then they certainly um, certainly stand a chance to stop them from taking the final tribute. Alright, let's have a look at the 17 talents. Stone skin, blood for blood. Second Strike, Tempest Fury, and Critter Rise, of course. Uh, stone Skin here on Arthas as well. Specialized Toxin on Zebo, Double Bombs, Harden Focus, and Overdrive coming in for Felsad. 
And now Alternate is finally a level ahead. Oh, a good level ahead this time. Just clearing out and fighting with the bruisers now. That's Sea Giants being taken in top lane. And the next tribute on their side of the map. It certainly looks good for Alternate right now. It certainly looks good. Um, Acer will have to defend these bruisers, but this is not going to take quite as long. Still, I think Brightwing might be uh, able to channel this before any fights really erupt. Yep, they're not going to get there in time. So that's two for two. Two for two in the tribute game. Jeez, this is going to be a massive fight erupting for that third and final tribute. And I have a feeling, I have a feeling about this. This might be the final fight of the game. Because it could just snowball from there. We'll have to see. Alternate should, uh, Acer should really stick close together. Right now, uh, Uther and uh, Arthas, or uh, Zeratul, still in the back there. And ooh, Arthas, ooh, that was really clutch. Really a clutch moment here. Gluhammer could have stopped ooh, his uh, Hearthstone back. And the next tribute in the perfect spot for Alternate. They're just waiting. Remake might start channeling. Uh, we'll see. Let's we'll see. They're going for it from the left side. Channeling halfway done. Olo coming in. Oh, and there's the Void Prison on Blue Hammer and Rymek. And what a little bit too early. Lotus not really timing his um, hinterland, uh, hinterland blast that well. And, well, also they can they turn us around. Yeah, Felsen is going down. Blue Hammer will go down as well, though. And Holo gets out of there. Gucho gives chase, but can he do it? I doubt he can. So far, two for free. Not too bad for Alternate. They want to get rid of Holo. And looks like he can get away. True. Getting a little bit of heal here from Rymek. And no one's going for the trip. Yes, they are. Mopsio just got the kill, got uh, got the drag, got the grab here on that tribute, and will they get? Nope, they're not gonna get uh, zero two at least. That's two heroes still up, and 20 seconds still to go here for Acer to come back. So uh, it's not gonna be the final. It's not gonna be the final moments of the game. I doubt that Acer um, alternate is going to play this safe. He's gonna go for the seed shines. Maybe they might be able to get a key, but not definitely not go for that final blow. And now everyone's back in the game. So alternate, they're just gonna back off and enjoy their level 20 once they have that. Okay. What is Alternate going to do next? Bruiser Camp's coming up pretty soon. So are these Siege Giants. But not really the perfect timing. They could have helped if they got them earlier, but uh, a little bit of unfortunate timing for them on, on that curse. And now they need to defend a curse that could be coming out of Acer. They will have level 20 a little bit earlier. So that could help. They want to force that team fight right now. They could make it work. They definitely could. Come on, Mopsio baiting them out. But no, <laughs> Acer is not going to fall for that. Just want to get one or two more minion kills. And then both of these teams will have level 20. Bolt of the Storm, Bolt of the Storm, Bolt of the Storm, and Twilight Archon alongside Storm Shield. Lots of bolts. Alternate can risk a little bit here, and they certainly will. They want to go for that boss. Mopsio trying to push Zahn back. Some good storms. And Zahn catching quite a bit of damage, but Vasiliano taken out already. And a nice, nice Void Prison up there. But can Holo capitalize on it? it certainly looks like it. Brightwing's going down. Blue Hammer might be in trouble as well, but nope. This time Nazebo can't catch him. Holo is on the chase though. And looks like that strafe is not interrupted. But there's gonna be a steal on the boss here. Did reset though. But a nice team fight uh, for Team Acer, and uh, certainly a good position for them to be in if Alternate can stop this and possibly take over, but I really doubt it. Nope, they're not gonna make it happen. That's the boss going the way of Alternate uh, for Acer, and they probably be in a good position to take the next tribute as well. It should be coming up soon. Are they going for the boss? They know the next tribute will spawn up here, but they don't know quite where. Possibly in the middle or on the left side. I think those are the next spots, but I'm not too certain. 
And yeah, Acer just going for that boss. This still leaves, still leaves the uh, tribute out in the open. But right now, alternate still needs to deal with the, the boss in the bot lane, and that already did some decent damage on the key. So boss in top lane will be taken, and the tribute should be coming up any second now. Oh jeez, this is gonna be a massive fight for this tribute. But nope, alternate. They're going for the top lane. Want to stop the boss before it actually gets to something useful. Who's this taking for mid? Oh wow. Oh, this is this is just gonna be nuts. Acer, come on! The tribute is spawning in the middle. Boss still being taken down. It's only halfway down, but oh, wow! Alternate. They they can't really decide what to do. The tribute is coming up in one second. There's no one dealing with the boss anymore. They're just letting it go, letting them take it forward. Acer is waiting. They're waiting patiently. Ooh, do you see? Going in there. Oh, a completely wasted marsh pit. And there is an amazing hinterland blast taking out Thrall and Valor. And Mopsio, can he make something happen down there? Doesn't look like it. We make a good show on the retreat. Mopsio trying to stop Zypher from taking this down, but he needs to get out of there. So this is going to be the final tribute here for Acer. Can they turn this game around one more time? It certainly looks like it. That's the curse. That's the curse for them. Top Fort has fallen, they're one level ahead now. We'll certainly get a keep out of this. Might get the game, but 36 seconds, I think it might not be enough. Teach Camp will be taken here, so I think a keep should definitely be theirs. Alternate, they want to throw everything they have at them. For all that are missing, that's some decent damage missing out of their composition. And yeah, that keep is going to fall for sure. But maybe they can stop and maybe they can buy a little bit of time so they don't go for the core just now. It's two levels ahead right now for Acer. And they're just rotating, rotating down. Mopsio might be caught out. They shouldn't lose any more heroes now. If they lose Mopsio again, then that's definitely game. With Mopsio down, um, they can't really defend anything here. But it looks like Acer will play it safe. Uh, just Holo getting in there. Going for the final kick on that heat. Yep, that's gonna be enough. It's going to be enough. And they'll all just return, go for the Sea Giants instead. And try to play it out in the long run. Two keeps down. So, um, Alternate will have to step back and deal with the Catapults now. Deal with Catapults, deal with Sea Giants, and uh, deal with Team Acer, that is a level ahead. And is Acer really going for that steal? I highly doubt it. But they're just keeping alternate on the back foot. They're not going to be able to go for those bruises just yet. Okay. <laughs> we kind of have a Mexican standoff situation. No one's really going for anything right now. And Olo just doing a little bit of clip clearing. Gucci with the Oracle finally sees everyone down there, so no one is going for those bruises just now. And can Acer can Acer go in from the other side? I mean Alternate can't really move out. They they have to be afraid. Just be overwhelmed by Acer. Who mobs yo? You're in trouble. You're in trouble, Zon goes for it. Oh, they're trying to keep them back and go for those bruisers. And I think they finally can. Ooh, nice little defensive zombie ball there by Nazebo. And that's the Bruisers going to the side of Acer. So Bruisers in mid, and possibly the, the entire team with them. How much time do they have until the next boss comes up? Just 25 seconds and a minute. So nope, they're not gonna go for it just yet, but they're gonna go for their boss later on. Meanwhile, uh, Alternate should be able to deal with these Bruisers. Yes, they can. They can. Acer turns are real. For sure they are. <laughs> But still, I, I, Alternate has not lost this. They're just a level behind. They do have two keeps down, but Acer also lost a keep already. I guess it all comes down to this next boss fight. Whoever's gonna win this boss fight is probably gonna win the game. Gucho, has he used his Oracle? Yes, he has. No Oracle available, but they all know they're here. And no one really wants to join. No one really wants to engage right now. Ooh, Mopsio, already getting a few hits off. But not caught out by that root. And he has a nice shield going for him now. 
Next tribute is coming up. Will it be a tribute fight or will it be a fight for the boss? Or both? <laughs> both would be kind of weird. Oh, first tribute goes to Acer. I don't really think we'll see another curse coming into play in this game, but yeah, you never know. Now alternate, thinking about going for their boss. Is it going to happen though? We have some logical um, heroics being taken for Acer as well. Ooh, Holo going from the back. Oh, some damage onto Vasiliano. Wow, they're just doing the dance of death around this boss. <laughs> I think if Alternate waits too long, the next tribute might come up and then it really gets into that dangerous spot again. But they're giving chase now, Mopsy going in there. They have a team divided. Holo is caught on the left side, but Gloomer catching a little bit of damage there. Looks, ooh, nice Void Prism to save himself. And Zahn and Rina running straight in there. And this time it works. Lotus finally going for that finally good time Hinterland Blast. The wall is taken out, so is Valor. And Brightwing goes down. Mopsio might fall as well. This could be game. This could be it. Acer could be going for it. And that would mean Alternate would have lost three games tonight. And that's certainly a blow to morale. Uh, yeah, certainly looks like it. Tassadar as the only one left alive. He's just staying in mid lane. Uh, Guccio just trolling over there. He's just gonna let this one slip. At least not go for that final, um, final takedown. Something for the statistics for you guys. But still, that's Acer going for two kills, and this means they're gonna be tied with El Nexo for the first spot in the Heroes Champions League. And we're only in week six. Gonna be a return on Thursday um, where Caldor will be taking over the English cast again.